I really like starting at that 4 a.m. time. It's good. And then you get so much done before the light comes up. And then, yeah, I just, you just feel like you're ahead of the game. I love the job. I am from Langholm, which is a little village in West Auckland in the Waitakere Ranges. I am a hardcore science geek. I teach chemistry at secondary school, but I love science. I grew up around my father running, but my father wasn't always a runner, so he was a heavy smoker. He decided to start running, and um, it turns out he was quite good at it, but he also realised that it was really, really hard to start running from being a snooker playing smoker. Um, and he decided he'd do a marathon because that would make him have to run. So three months later he did his first marathon. On his, that was, he was probably about 42 then, on his 75th birthday he did his 75th marathon. He had his running buddies at work, one of them um, was into orienteering and so he talked to the other two to bring their families along and try orienteering. And then the, we did and I loved it and the whole family was into it and that gave me a real drive to want to run. Having something that made it really fun gave me the, the bug for it for, for life. So that was probably, I was probably about 14 and yeah, been running on and off ever since. My name's Madeline Collins. I'm being a bit of a runner at the moment. Don McLean. Twelfth time I've done this. Still not sick of it. That, that's the intrigue with the Revenant to me. Is that it's such a challenge. They have no clue how you're going to go. Even, even if you've done all the work, there's so many uncontrollables, so many factors that have to come together that it's, it's really intriguing about, about that challenge and preparing myself to go and give it my very best shot. The training in West Auckland for a race that's in Southland takes some ingenuity, especially when we haven't been allowed out of Auckland at all. Karamatuta Track is a track um, near Huia in the southern end of the Waitakere Ranges. From the car park at the bottom to what's called the Forks, which is the, the, the top of the Karamatuta Track, is about 3.3 kilometres long. Um, there's about 1,250 stairs and probably just under 400 metres vert. I thought, ah. Oh, could run up at once in January, the first month, twice in February. December, I'm running 6.6 .6 kilometres times 12. But I also add on, on the first lap, um, an extra about five kilometres out to Mount Donald McLean just for fun. Yeah. Pulls away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Okay. Time for second breakfast. The Revenant is unlike almost any other race in the world and that there's um, no, no trails, no markers, no watches, no phones, no GPS, nothing to tell you where to go except old school map and compass. It's four laps of a course that's about 50 kilometres long with about, I think it's about 4,000 metres of vert. If you want to sleep you can at any time you have to be sleeping out on course. There's 14 checkpoints on the course and the checkpoint is on a topo map so you know 100 metres wide or so marked on the map but all you're finding is one small container and in that container there's a book and you rip out the page of the book that matches your number and you need to present all 14 numbers at the end of each lap to be allowed out again on another lap. Watch is dying. And if it's not on Strava, it doesn't count. And it has to count. That'd be so bad, wouldn't it? But it's good, so lap eight. And then I've really broken the back of it after this one. You need your arms though. You're strong. get to this point each lap now and it's not just today like I've learnt over the last few sessions that I just feel really stuffed I mean not surprising the top of the hill each time that I feel quite rough but I know the first hundred meters is difficult and then a few hundred meters after that I feel great again so it's such a good learning curve to know that those phases come and go. I want it needs to be ignored I think is, what, is the conclusion I've come to and I've learnt that this year with the Kata Matuta challenge that, that you might want to, to stop but it doesn't mean you need to stop. I found that if I keep listening to my body, keep doing what my body needs, then I, all of those phases will pass. Um, and so if I'm feeling really tired, like falling asleep, I'll lie down and have a sleep. Um, if I'm really, really um, cold, I'll put more layers on. If I'm hot, I make sure that I cover it, my, like dunk my hat in water and cool off. Hungry, eat, thirsty, drink. You keep running, you're not going to keep feeling good the whole time. So knowing that that will pass, knowing that I can just meet a need and then get up and keep going.
I don't know why I thought going to Don on the train was a good idea. Revenant was never something that I I thought that I could do. It intrigued me from when I first heard about it, but I never thought it was a possibility for me. There's so much of it that I, I just thought I'd never be able to do, um, and I really didn't think I'd be strong enough or fit enough to even attempt it well. But when I got to about May of the Karamatuda Challenge, um, I realised that maybe if, if I could get through this challenge, then that's going to break the biggest, you know, the, break the back of the biggest skill that I need. Ah, oh, that's nice to be here. Ooh. Next time someone wants to drive up here, I'm in because I love this view. When I decided to do the challenge, I realised the hardest thing was not going to be showing up each month and, and trying to do the laps. The hardest thing was going to be showing up month after month with a body that was ready to do the laps, that was recovered, that you know, maintained my strength, um, still be a half decent parent and wife, still work full time. I think that I've, maybe my family would argue, but I think that I've mostly achieved that. All of that coming together is, is, is going to be really special.